writing wasn't always faceless lines and abstract symmetry. Originally, it was a bunch of pictures. Come see how it all started. La France. 17,000 years ago. It's cold out, and getting colder. Possibly dangerous, too. This may be France, and this may be the history of writing, but there's nothing for you here. Until you take shelter in a nearby cave and see how creative some of your ancestors really were. Drawing on their enlarging brains and a long prehistory of building ever more complex tools, these early artists took to etching and painting beautiful visual representations of the animals around them. These aren't words, they're not stories, they're pictures. Early pictures like these start to become very routine, not necessarily depicting the world, but marking and standing for things. A place to hunt. A place to eat. These are pictographs. The story gets sketchy here, but it's important to notice that pictographic symbols like these petroglyphs, rock carvings, weren't words. They weren't language, but they became more than personal and communal artistic expressions. They became regular and repeatable, possibly mapping to specific things. And for that, these pictographs earn themselves the fancy label of proto-writing. Many pictographs have an intuitive giveaway quality. They look like drawings of the things they represent. Draw me a human, easy. Draw me a horse, sure. A river, there it is. But how do you clearly and simply draw less tangible ideas like playing around or taking it easy or don't even think about it? Uh-oh, watch out for this. Major moments in the history of writing. Meet metonymy. This principled fellow lets you represent a general, nebulous idea with a related pictogram, or part of a pictogram, or a pictogram combo, that's pretty specific and obvious. Ancient stick human is a regular old pictogram. If you cut off stick's legs, you can get across the general idea of what? Walking or moving? What about a man leaning against a tree? What's the idea here? Taking it easy. Resting. These are ideographs symbols for ideas and concepts. In some sense, all of these drawings express ideas, the concept of a horse, the concept of a human. So they're all ideographic, but with a little imagination and a lot of time, extended ideographs let you cut and combine basic pictographs to be far more expressive and abstract. Just when you're ready to grab that chisel and get your pictographic and ideographic carving on, someone more inventive than you comes along. Your pictures and ideas aren't enough for her. Gone are the old cave days. The world outside is changing, and she needs words. Words, my friend. 